invited to uh, over in Warrington and there was a channeler there and I didn't I don't know they call them channelers but we sat down like this and she was sitting up and she talked funny to me you know because that channeling language <laughs> sometimes they talk sort of like English or whatever so, so, so I was just listening and and they she asked them to ask her a question so everybody was asking her a question and coming around when it came to me I stood up and I couldn't talk. I start crying instead. So she said, "Come here." So I went up, and she said, "Come here. Give me a hug." So I gave her a hug, and she said, "Congratulations." She said, "You met the master himself." So I said, "Okay." I said, "Thank you." I said, "Could you tell him one thing?" I said, "It happened so fast. Could you just? I need to tell him one thing." I don't know where he went, but just tell him this. Thank you. That's all. So then I was all right after that. So she was the one that helped with... Uh, I told her what the Spirit told me. So she said, well, let's put on a conference. So I said, what's that? I never, I didn't know what a conference was. I live on the reservation. <laughs> so, <laughs> So uh, so anyway, it happened. She said, where do you want it? I said, on my reservation, that's where my best criticism is going to come. You know, that's where everything needs, it needs to start from your own circle. So that's where it's on my res. Who do you want to be there? Whoever, whoever is guided to be there. So she set it up. How many days? I don't care. As long as it takes. She set it up for five days. Went it up with... I'm going to speak five, it was a five day conference and that's where I met you. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, a gathering of elders, yeah. So, so we had all these speakers, military, naval intelligence, we had, name them, just name them, they were there. The Pulitzer Prize winner, John Mack. Over there, they came. So, what this information attracted everybody. And I even had a CIA guy following me around, and I sensed it, felt it, so I was walking around, and every time I'd go like this, well, he'd go, he'd turn away, and he'd be doing something. So, <laughs> so I did an OIT on him, you know, an O Indian trick. <laughs> I snuck up behind him, and he was standing, and he turned around. I said, who do you work for, CIA? So, so he just stood there and he said, yeah. I said, well, tell him that we're no threat. We're searching for answers too, just like you're searching for answers. And don't worry about it, you know, because it's all public. There's nothing sneaky about it, like what you guys have. It's open, so there's more than what you guys have, really. <laughs> <laughs> so what we presented at that time was things that they was things that they wanted to know about 50 years ago. 50 years ago from that time. And it was those symbols that they found on the Roswell crash. Roswell. There wasn't just one crash, there was 18 crashes. And uh, Roswell is the most famous one. Out of those 18 crashes, there was 10 different star races. There was the, the Zeta Reticuli people that had, uh, those are the ones with long fingers, like finger like claws, four fingers. Then the ones with the suction cups, those ones with suction cups, they were uh, from uh, this different galaxy called Erm. Okay. Then the third, the, there was a third one with six fingers. Six fingers they were from Rigel, Orion. And there's also people that look exactly like this. So that was what, why it became above top secret, because 
they figured that if those people that look like us come from the stars, then they could be just about any place on this planet. To be in the White House. So. Are they in the White House? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah, some of the good ones never made it in, but <laughs> none of the good ones made it in. <laughs> so, so the information we delivered. Oh, well, write these down, okay? Oh, well, you got them? Because we don't know what they mean. And okay, so how how we did it? How we did it is that they gave us the symbol. I didn't know what they meant. So what I did is I went to one of a person that didn't have any alcohol in his body, didn't have any experienced drugs in his body, and his system was pretty clean. So I asked him, I said, Grandson, I need your help. I need your help. He taught you about the buffaloes and the elk and the deer and the eagles and the owls and all these relatives. So it's time to learn about the stars. So he's the one that I would just draw the symbol on the ground and he would look at them. Then we go in ceremony. The Spirit said that these symbols, just one, uh, would take two moons for you to understand. Two moons. So uh, I know a lot of us are always in a hurry to get this down, blah, blah, blah. But with these, there's experiences that follows. Something happens in your life that these here create a movement within your DNA that helps you understand them a little bit better. In fact, you probably understand all of these already. Because in 1111, uh, the Universal and Spiritual Laws of Creator, I went on record saying that I know all these laws because I broke every one of them. And so did you. <laughs>